My name is uh, Rich Clark. I'm the operations manager here at Alaska Black Cod, and I actually smoke all the fish, I cut all the fish, I pick it up, distribute it. People are going nuts over the bone broth. It's, uh, the French word is fumé, but it's a fish stock. So uh, yeah, it's done with uh, any fish bones. We use black cod here in Alaska, and it works wonderful. It's delicious. Uh, I'm gonna throw it in the pot here in a minute. I'm also gonna put in some celery, some onions, uh, some white carrots, some lemons, and some bay leaves. And I cut, I cut about 25 fish this morning. There's always blood in the cavity. You always clean it out and wash it out. Otherwise, it'll discolor your stock. Okay, I'm gonna cut up some celery. Make it real simple. It goes in the pot. Need to peel my carrots. White carrots from AD Farm. Most of my vegetables come from the farmer's market at uh, Sears Mall at the Center Market at Sears Mall every Wednesday and Saturday. And you want to use white carrots. What I'm told, the red carrots will uh, put a red color in our stock. We don't want to do that, so pretty easy. I don't take too much time. It's in there. These guys in half, I like to squeeze them. Drop them in. And some bay leaves. So I use most likely two and a half, two and a half to three ounces. We've got a couple of uh, lemons in there, onion, carrot, and some celery. So I've been putting about one fish backbone per quart of, of water. I'm just gonna set these backbones in there. If you bring it to a boil and it's boiling too much, you wanna turn it down so it just rolls really easily, real soft roll is perfect. And I just wanna push it down in here. Now that it's all nice and it's all going, looks like it's got a little roll to it. I'm gonna set my timer for three hours. When it goes off, I know we're done here. When it cools off, it, it gets jellied almost. You can see that it's thickening, you know what I mean? Oh, well, that's the, uh, the collagen breaking down in the bone, right? Is what that jelly uh, type stuff is. So it's a 60 uh, quart pot. There's about uh, 40 quarts in there. So it'll make about 40 bags of uh, stock. Okay, we're going to remove the carrots, the bones, the celery, the onions out of the stock. We're going to strain it so you, my customers can use it. It's a stock. You use it to cook other things with. Nobody wants to eat crunchy bones. I think we have most of the solids out now. So uh, we're going to strain some of this uh, stock and get it ready to uh, put in uh, one quart bags and freeze, vacuum package and freeze and take it to market tomorrow. So here we have our solids. Really nice stock. I mean, it, it, look at the color of it. I mean, it's beautiful. We're actually ready to make our first batch. I do have a one quart mark on this guy right there. And so forth and so on, huh? Clear stock. See, we got a little fish in there. So it's hardy, right? Once the sable fish stock is frozen, it's good for six to nine months in your freezer.